Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Education. Minister, I want to tell you about a young girl in my riding named Hope Hawkins, who is hearing impaired. Hope will be entering grade 8 next year, which is a crucial year development for, as one transitions into high school. Unfortunately, she'll be the only grade 8 student in her class at Robert School for the Deaf in London due to a declining enrollment. Hope has recently been accepted to the Ernest Jury School of Deaf in Milton. She wants to attend the school for grade 8 before entering high school, but she has been denied transportation services because she lives three minutes outside of the ministry's 70-minute threshold. It has already been agreed that Hope will receive transportation when she starts grade 9. A public school is not a good option for Hope. EAs and support workers must be hired, special equipment must be provided, and this environment full of stigma. Hope has attempted this route three times before and the educational experience she received has not been ideal. Minister, could you direct the provincial Question. superintendent to approve Hope's request to receive the transportation services in the upcoming year? Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you very much. And uh, obviously, I'm not familiar with this uh, particular issue. And uh, we, we, it always is difficult when uh, a, a student needs to be transported to one of the provincial schools and trying to make those arrangements. Um, I think that perhaps in this in instance, it would be best if we could get some more uh, information about the particular case. And then we'll endeavor to see if we can find a resolution. Thank you. Supplementary. We'll receive more information. She's hit so many roadblocks on trying just to get to a school where she can be with her peers. Yeah. Minister, I've met with many constituents who deal with the black and white nature of some of this government's rules and regulations. We need to understand the needs for rules and guide, guidelines, but the inflexibility in a situation yeah. bespeaks to a failure of delivery of essential services. Yeah. This situation takes nothing more than a little common sense, and I hope to get it resolved. I hope that we cannot be beholden to the bureaucratic rules and do the right thing in this situation. Can you let me know soon whether Hope will receive the transportation services to the school? Yes, thank you. Thank you, uh, Speaker. And uh, if we could, um, if we could get the information fairly quickly and get some contact information for the individual student, uh, because we obviously will need to talk to the uh, to the individual families involved to get the accurate information, then I will certainly be very happy to have my ministry look at the situation very quickly. Thank you. Thank you.